Economists are probably no better than the average in the sense of contributing to fabrications or not, or contributing to truth. I think, however, empirical economics that's grounded in solid data is, in fact, a, a, a vaccine against this post-truth world. Empirical economics will provide fodder for policies that can be effective. We can find out where the problems are, and then when we evaluate policies, which policies are effective. A social policy that's completely devoid of facts is one of ideology. It's just one that can simply be made up. Basic economic principles will still operate. The real tragedy, in some sense, has been that ideology has actually shaped a lot of the economic and social policies. I think what one should do is look at practical matters, and I say that, I mean, empirically based, uh, research-based policies that have some element of credibility. I think there is a great deal of opportunity still in economics. Many people get pessimistic about economics because there has been so many, so many ideologies and so many discussions and contrary currents. But I think the fact is that real problems remain and that real solutions are possible. It's a subject that really will continue to flourish. And the reason is economists have the tools, economists have now even richer data than they've had in the past, and the ability to sort of deal with these problems in a constructive way that also helps knowledge but also guides policy. Those two should not be in, in conflict.